Well, Kagan's working on his motorcycle sissy bar again. And I'm working on that again. Okay, so first things first. Uh, Kagan's gonna make a whole bunch of noise while I'm trying to talk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so as much as I possibly can. So on this engine, and you guys seen the log manifolds I made, that uh, I'm gonna be using studs to stud the flange to the engine. So now, there's a little bit of an issue with that is, is um, if you're looking for uh, exhaust manifold bolts for one of these uh, IDI motors, and of course the uh, the exhaust manifold, the factory manifold, actually is a lot thicker where it bolts the engine, and these flanges are only like quarter inch plate steel, maybe they're half inch, I don't know. Anyways, my point is, is that you don't need as long as a bolt. And I want to use studs, that way I can get the nuts on the outside, get the flanges, or get the studs on there, put the flanges on, and I don't have to worry about the length of a bolt taking it out. So, the trick is, these right here. So, there's some of them already in the engine. And these are stainless, see the Allen head M? Stainless studs. Um, actually, I bought these from rogue bolt and never heard of them before but it looked like a decent kit so we'll see how it goes but these are actually for a gm 454 because it's the same thread pitch and those are the right length to suit what i need to do and uh yeah so i'm going to show you guys what i'm going to do to kind of make sure those stay situated in the right place in the engine all right so what i've got going on here is this these right here, they're threaded all the way, so you could thread them all the way up in until they bottom out. But you don't know the amount of length you're gonna have sticking out at the time they bottom out. So I'm gonna control that a little bit. And I've already played around with uh, a couple of them early on. And uh, I know that I wanna make a mark at about five eighths is where I wanna make my mark at. So let me get that up there. So you can see that right there, I've marked it right about five eighths from the uh, the end of the tape measure to that one thread right there. Right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. So, now that I've done that, I've got all these marks. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna take this chisel, put it right on my mark in between the threads. I'm just gonna go right there. And now I have mangled that thread, something terrible. So, I'm going to do the rest of these, and then I'll set up over at the engine, and we'll see how it works. Okay, so the next trick is, is these are stainless. That's cast iron. What I want to do is put a little anti-seize on the end of these as I go stick them in, because, you know, I don't want to seize up if I ever pull them out. I hope not to ever have to pull these out, but you know how that goes. So... Okay, and there we hit the mangled thread right there. Now I'm gonna take it a little bit because I know what I want my overall length to be here. And I want it to be, it's really close. Right there, that's what I want. So, so I'll do another one. We'll go all the way across through there. I'm also making sure that I put the anti-seize on the end that does not have the Allen head because I need the Allen head to tighten it up. So we'll get one over here real close to you guys here. There's that. Okay, and then we just hit. So now I'm going to measure that again and I need to take out a little bit more. That's pretty close. So now, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six more of these to do. 
So I'll get these in and then I'll show you the next thing I've done, which not everybody has to do, but it seems to help out. Okay, so over here, you see I got me a lamp. Yeah, a lamp. A couple nuts on a bolt. And I would put another nut on the end and I would use that to turn everything down. Right? Uh, I turned a couple nuts down until they look like that. They've still got the threads in them. But I've turned them down where they will fit inside the flanges and I'll show you why. Okay, so my issue with my log manifold is, is these bolts, the holes in the manifold here are too big for the bolts, which is good because they don't all line up centered. Uh, it's bad because it's hard to kind of set the manifold where you want it in place. And so I'm going to run everything on here off of the, uh, we'll call it the back bolt. So I'm going to take that one and thread it up on there all the way. I can do this right there, just my finger. And so the next problem I'm going to have is seeing which one of these is close enough to being centered. And it looks like probably this one here. And so the good part about this is it allows me to get my uh, head gas or shoot head gasket, exhaust gasket, to where it's not interference in any of the holes, so I'm not in the way. And then also knowing that it'll center this up a little bit to keep keep them on center with the holes up and down. And this might take a little bit of love to get in place. And then again, that might not work at all. I might have to make one just a little bit smaller. Well, let's try this. Let me go uh, clean this one up a little bit. It's got a rim on it. Okay, so I cleaned it up a little bit and actually moved it back once. I think it'll line up better. So get that one started on. And then it's on there. So I'm going to get my nut back here on the back one. Because that's the one I'm trying to run everything off of. And I did shave them down to where they're definitely thinner than the exhaust flange to make sure that um, you know, basically when I tighten the nut down that I'm not bottoming out on the piece I made and not the flange itself. And so there's that. Now I'm using the old flanges right now, um, mainly because I'm wanting to build everything off of it. I've got new flanges, but I don't want to or not new flanges, but new gaskets, because I don't want to crush the gasket until I'm ready to crush it for the last time, and then I'll put the new ones on. But, uh, so right now, I've got all my studs in place, and I got two nuts on right now, uh, and that will allow me to work on the back side of this. And so I'll show you the magic going on here now. I want to take this side, and I want to make it look something like this side over here, which I've already welded my 90 on to. And let's see here, hold on. Get my piece here somewhere. Right now I can't find it. It's still in tail time and I can't find my piece. Give me a second. You forgot where he put it. Kagan swiped it, was hiding it from me over on the welder. I'm, I'm blaming him. So I've still got to cut a lot of this down to fit that T3 flange. But you can kind of see how I'm going to do this. Is and then I'm going to bring the one from the other side up, and uh, I'll have I'll wrap these, and I'm going to put a clamp here. And I'm I'm basically leaving this right here where it can move a little bit. But I'm doing that for heat expansion. I don't know if I have to or not or need to, but I'm going to. And uh, then I've got my, my actual uh, V-clamp there. And we'll do one on the other side. Clear. So, yeah, you can go ahead and weld. So, yep, yeah, I gotta come over here 
and I might pry out a section of pipe and put my 90 and come up through here to this one actually might have to kick over and up I'm not sure yet so I barely clear right here. I may knock this right here down some with the grinder just because I don't really need it so I can wrap everything and not have any interference but the rest of it clears and that should keep me where I don't have to really doghouse the cab too much uh, we'll see I'm sure I'll have to do it some but I'd really like to not do it any more than I have to but so that's it for today is getting your manifold studs in your exhaust manifold studs and for the IDI guys remember these are stainless kit off of a 454 GM and they fit just fun and these flanges came from uh, Justin out there at R&D so you guys got any questions or comments let us know below and uh, thanks for watching Kagan any words of wisdom while you weld well Gonna do a Darth Vader force with that welding helmet on? <laughs> no. The only thing I'm gonna say is it sounds like I'm cooking bacon. It smells like I'm cooking bacon. But that's only because I don't have a full jack on. <laughs> Alright guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.